For modeling, we start with steel structure. With steel structure, modules from, from solid pad is comprehensive. A structure grid design, assign member, and do it very easy to create the time consuming uh, modeling like stair, ladder, handrail, foot plate. Okay, let's see how. From the sample plant here, we're going to use our structure modules to add some more structure here. With the structure modules, normally uh, SOLIDWORKS we provide you well meant feature already, but we do something more just for uh, plant design jobs. Okay, we start with uh, a grid, 3D grid. You can use also SOLIDWORKS 3D grid, but we make it easier for you. Just click the start point and uh, input the condition in the X, Y, Z. How many level you like? Okay. We just try to do something a little bit here. With the grid, you can place the steel profile now. Insert structure model. model. So we have uh, modern SOLIDWORKS provide standard NZ, G, uh, GIS, DIN. We select the type, we select the size and click the grid. All right. The same grid. We can also draw individual steel by drawing a sketch and choose this the steel profile type and size okay and then you can adjust it a little bit uh, it seems like it's wrong angle So we just adjust it, flip it 90 degrees, okay, and move it down to the right position. Okay. Next. We refer to this uh, structure. We are going to have a stair. To draw a stair in solid plan is easy. Draw one sketch. Uh, Give it dimension. And then uh, click. You see the preview and also pop up windows that will allow you to input uh, the parameter. You can put a parameter here the height, the length, the width, the level voila and you will get stair pretty easy and very fast okay 
Now uh, let's put some leather. A leather. Click the same frame as a reference. Use this frame as a reference. Leather feature. Draw a sketch. Yeah, it's the same as the, as there. You have a, a variable parameter that you can input. Flip size. Okay. And finish, apply. Okay. What else? Uh, handrail. 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 Same concept. We just uh, draw the sketch here. doesn't need to be continuous okay it's easy in this version we don't have uh, uh, too much parameter to change because this was structure we just need it for uh, model to be a reference for piping but we'll save your time a lot here okay now we put some foot plate and for floor plate just draw a rectangle rectangular Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay, now we have a small structure that's created in uh, 10 minutes. No problem. 3D equipment model. This is pretty very easy for engineering to model a 3D equipment including pump vessel, uh, tower, and we will show you how to import uh, other equipment from other system including SolidWorks or either 3D CAD whatever. And we show you how to define a nozzle on the imported equipment now we talk about equipment we open we show up the existing equipment here so uh, that's the equipment that's ex existing in the project now we want to have a new equipment so we can click a create equipment here from the, the equipment tab in this version actually we have a sample equipment that you can use as a reference now like this valve tank vessels cylinders horizontal what you call yes you can pick one okay let's use the pump when you try to create, you have to select the tag name that's actually existing in, in the system already. 
once you click the database the click the tag you like the all the data is just uh, insert in, input into the, the this equipment yep and then uh, in the model you can modify with the parameter just like structure models and after you finish then uh, you will see here with the blue tag name here tag number that's mean you have a new equipment but doesn't it doesn't get into this uh, uh, this project yet okay and then uh, we just move a little bit to the place that it should be just click there made and you know SOLIDWORKS can uh, move it and snap it okay we uh, rotate a little bit 100 180 degrees and that's it we also can uh, So from now, we also can import the 3D model from from anywhere, from other software, whatever. SolidWorks or other software doesn't matter, as long as it can read or import into SolidWorks. So we can import the 3D models with the geo, geo, geometric, geographics and then uh, we have to assign the tag number to them description pump equipment type pump reference point or insert point it's gonna be like there okay Now you s you save it. And also uh, the the most important here is we have to assign the nozzle. With nozzle you can pick from the database also. Click the type, click the size. And Assign it into the model with the point section. Just click there. Now you have a nozzle position that that we can use after this in the routing models. Okay, we can import same way. See, you have the blue one. Insert component. Okay, it's auto snap. Right. Good. And now we have equipment and nozzle point ready to routing.